Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Stu and this is Thundering Gorge for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, part 14 of the Bug Fix Scenario Pack. The government asked you to develop this remote public recreational area into a profitable theme park. Your objective to achieve a monthly income from ride tickets of at least 8,000. Okay, not a huge goal then. Let's have a look at the area. Quite a large area for such a a small goal. Well, hang on, that's a bit weird. That cable car there. And again, that side. So I'm going to assume that is some open RCT to shenanigans. So on that, there is a special mode where you can set it to no exit buildings, but obviously that doesn't display on classic. So if we just click that to there, we might have to delete that there. Let's just line it up properly. There you go. So we fixed that one. Let's check the other building just up here. Make sure that's okay. There you go, that one's fine. Looks cool though. These uh buildings for the cable car it does look cool. Um Oh, and that looks good as well, like a landslide. Okay, first of all, let's check the let's check this rides. There is rides, that's good, and research is fine as well. We have had some issues with that in the past. Okay, so let's have a look. Free admission, we know that anyway because of the profit mission. Um, so we've got a cable car already. Takes you up to the top. There is a path connecting the two. So that's good. Sometimes on levels you'll see a cable car going off with no path. Um, I don't like this little dead end just there. I'll get rid of that. Um, what have we got here? Sort of mini, was it mini suspended swinging car? Decent excitement on that. Quite low throughput, but that's fine. We can raise the money for that. Um, let's have a look at the rides then. We've got some transport rides, good selection of gentle rides. We've got not a bad selection of coasters, to be honest, quite in keeping with the park. Um, a couple of water rides and not a bad selection of shops. I think I'm going to put my research into water rides. I'm just wondering, it would be cool if there was like a splash board or something like that. We could do something really cool. Maybe try and beat it just with that one ride. I don't know. Um, but I think for the moment, I'm just going to put down, I'm going to fix the, the path then, make that a bit simpler. Uh, put down some shops, kiosks, toilets, that sort of thing. Um, put down some, some flat rides for the moment. I'm just going to charge normal prices for things, no gimmicks, just play. Try and keep the park in keeping with, with the area and the landscape. And let's just see what happens. July year one, over 500 guests in the park. We've got some sort of issue going on here. Um, it's outside of the park, so there's nothing really i can do i can't delete any of these paths i suspect it's because there's a double path then it's frying the peeps little minds so what i'm going to do is i'm going to export this have a look at it on pc fix this little path and then bring it back onto the tablet all fixed then guests are now leaving the park the guests that were unhappy the ones that were getting stuck for there are all leaving i could have left it as it was but what would have happened is the game would still have registered those guests as being spawned in and I would have just had less guests coming into the park. Um, what I'll do as well is I will fix this at the beginning and I'll upload that as well. There'll be a link in the, in the video description of all the files that I fixed. And the way to use them is just um, import them into your game 
and it'll work like a, a regular save file. It won't be a new scenario. So all you do is you load up the existing scenario and then load the save file. Um, well, actually, you won't even need to load up the scenario. You can just load the save file from the start. Um, okay, so what have we done then? We've got a lot of shops just here, some flat rides, um, pirate ship, Ferris wheel, go kart track there. Again, as I said earlier, I'm charging proper prices for things. Um, we're not making a huge amount, but I will be keeping my eye on that because. I don't want to pass it accidentally, um, but I want to, and I want to have a good couple of years playing as well. So the pre-built coaster, that was already here, just up there. Uh, I've got rid of that little dead end path as well that was there. Um, I've also added this little path as well, connecting the two, just to simplify the pathing for the guests. Um, We've only got 10, 10 cars on the cable car. So I think what I'll do is I'll increase that as well because get some extra money off the guests. Um, loads of shops there, kiosks, toilets. I generally put the kiosks on junctions to sort of maximize the amount of guests that can, can use it. And then I tend to put a toilet next to each kiosk. Um, the more toilets you have, the better the chance you're going to get of winning best toilets there are two entrance and exits in this park so i am quite mindful of that um trying to balance out so i'm going to want to try and build some things over here as well the landscape isn't isn't very good for for building things over here so i'll have to have to look at that maybe just put some extra shops or whatever but um yeah let's have a look at the at the research I did start researching water rides. We've researched all those now. There wasn't a lot. Just these Oak Barrel Ride, which is a a different skin of the River Rapids. So this was in the Time Twister expansion, I believe. Um, so that's a shame. So no splash boats. So I think what I'll do is I'll I'll just continue building. Um, I'll put down a few thrill rides and then I think what we'll do then we'll switch up the research onto roller coasters and then start building some extra coasters as I said in keeping with the scenario. October 01 just finished raining so we've got some extra coins from the shop sales. Ride tickets up to around 4,000 last month so we're halfway there so I am going to have to keep one eye on that to me as i'm building new rides to make sure that we don't pass it accidentally we have got a while to go yet so i've increased the cars on here to 29 cars three pound of course we're making a lot more money off that swinging inverter ship just there i would like to have put the two down but it would have meant fussing around with the landscape and and I'd, ra I'd rather not do that. Um, just up here then, we've got the snow caps. This is a modified version of, of the twist and a roto drop as well. You can get some good cash off these. A nice space up here for a coaster maybe. Um, potentially have another one coming from as a transport ride coming down. I'm not sure yet. We are researching coasters now. Just unlocked a mine train coaster. So, yeah, nothing that really stands out. Um, we're not ready for a wooden coaster yet. That's sort of later on in the park's development, I think. So we'll have to just keep an eye on these and see see if there's anything that jumps out at me. October year two, four and a half thousand, five thousand per month that we're taking in the last few months. So I am keeping my eye on on what we're charging for the rides got a haunted mansion just up on the hill there um a nice ride for the guests to go on when it rains little magic carpet don't see them very often a virginia reel just there nice compact design um thunder tubs decent excitement um that was number three course number three so obviously there's another one up here somewhere 
and we've only gone for a bobsleigh one of my least favorite types but it kind of fitted with the landscape um it's not a great design blizzard bobs decent excitement um with these you just need to have them going long enough fast enough and not crashing and um, then then you'll be fine so we got unfortunately because of the awkward landscape we've got two little chain lifts there and then drops down a few helixes and then into the third chain lift and then down a few more helixes and then back to the station so what are we going to do this year then we've got some extra extra shops around the place um i figure we got some space down here for some extra coasters um we won't need too many what have we got uh we've already done the virginia reel um i'm probably not gonna go for something like this it doesn't really seem in keeping with the park um maybe one of these mine rides a powered one might be cool and then maybe a wooden coaster as well um and i think yeah we'll just keep on playing until the end of next year keeping one eye on the ride tickets so we don't go over and then maybe next year then when i'm happy with the park we'll just ram the prices up and complete the scenario September year three, we're up to almost 7,000 a month. So we're almost at the goal anyway. And we are limiting prices. So we are charging less than what we can get away with. Um, what additions have we got then? Powered roller coaster just here. No, not Rachel F. Thunder Miner, 6.42. Decent excitement, to be honest, considering what it is. Doesn't really do much, but. Uh, guess i'll loving it anyway um and then over here then wooden coaster so with this one i have added maybe a, a block section or two more than what i normally would just in order to get the ride flow in and maybe increase the throughput on it um so down through the splash up the chain lift drops down back around block section in the mid course break run and then back down and then the brake run and block section there. Um, got a lot of fences around the place, just trying to make the place look look quite pretty. Nothing much up here. We can probably ram the price of the bobsleigh up as well. So I think what I'm going to do then, we're not going to complete it this month. I mean, we've been consistently around the 7,000. So I think what I'll do is I'll have a look to see what we can charge. And then we'll try and do it in October. We've just gone October year three then. I rammed up some of the prices just on the, on the roller coasters really. So we're charging £10 a go for the wooden coaster. £10 a go for the powered mine train coaster. Quite low throughput, but it has got a long queue line. So at least there's a there's a steady stream of guests that are going to go on it, uh, which are already charging £10 for the go-karts. Very, very low throughput on there. Um, canopy glider. This is quite old. So we're only able to charge six pound a go for this one. What's wrong with this one then? Is it broken down? What's going on? I suspect it's broken down, but it hasn't registered as broken down. 
So let's stop it, put it back on, and it's broken down. So I had that issue with one of the looping coasters on the on the docks one that we did, the harbour one that we did. Was this some sort of bug with the game? So that might cost us. And then the bobsleigh, we've got that up to. They're not paying that much. They did last month, <laughs> but now they're not. Let's drop that down to seven then. There you go, they'll pay seven. Awesome. Cool. So when we came in then we had a cable car that we had to let's put this down there that we had to um sort out because it was a little bit glitched because of some open RC2 shen shenanigans that we got that sorted on classics and easy fix just at the change the building type. Um what else did we have? We had the canopy gliders, which is the the suspended swinging coaster just coming down there, the mini one. Um that was already open. Um all we did, we just put down some some shops, some kiosks, some toilets, some flat rides, and then we started work on the coasters. I haven't been charging as much as I could have done because I wanted to have a decent amount of game time on the level. Um, and then we find ourselves now, October year three, when we've rammed the prices up and we're gonna pass the scenario. Quite an easy one, to be honest. Shouldn't have any issues with it. There isn't any failure mode. All you've got to do is pass the 8,000 in ride ticket sales in the space of one month. And there's enough coasters, like the corkscrew, the looping coaster, where you can build some simple shuttle designs. If you're getting stuck, there's, there's a rotor drop. You can charge good money for them as well. So it's just running on fast forward to the end of the month. Halloween will we do 10 I don't know did we do 10 let's have a look oh just a little bit short not that it matters let's put my name in Stu. awesome sauce it's quite a fun scenario it was it wasn't challenging but it was quite fun um just building a, a park no gimmicks um, I think, I don't know what's happened to that. It's broken down. Um, <laughs> great. Um, it was quite fun just building a no frills park, trying to keep it in keeping with, with the area maybe. Um, and also achieving the goal as well at the same time. Um, in the last video I did, um, where Cousin Stu from the Bayou um, did a guest appearance. He did mention that I was busy working on a scenario that I'm going to release when we get 4,000 subs. So that's not too far away. Um, so that's a pretty cool scenario. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.